Good afternoon, I am Dr. R.M. Lalita. Oral cancer is the eighth most common cancer in the world. Isn't it scary? Is it, though it sounds scary, it is not. The good news is oral cancer is easily curable if detected early. Then why is it so common? Why the hue and cry? Here the oral cancer is the cancer of the mouth. Cancer is nothing but a new growth that occurs in anywhere in the body. Similarly, oral cancer is the cancer of the mouth. So what are the causes of oral cancer? The most common cancer cause is tobacco. The tobacco may be used with smoke or without smoke. In females, tobacco is used in the form of a quid. What do they add in this quid? They add beetle leaves, arachnid and slaked lime. They roll it into a quid and they keep it in the cheek, inside the mouth. This causes oral cancer of the buccal cavity. So in females, smokeless tobacco is used often and in males, cigarettes and beedies and pan masala. Nowadays, pan masala is available everywhere. Though they claim that it contains no tobacco, it is also having lot of tobacco content and use is very rampant among the youth. It is causing a condition called submucous fibrosis where the patient will not be able to open the mouth. How does a oral cancer look? A oral cancer looks like a cauliflower growth or a white patch or a red patch. What are the problems the patient faces when he is having oral cancer? The patient will have a non-healing ulcer. He applies many indigenous medicines and goes to several doctors with no avail. So a non-healing ulcer that is not painful, a white patch that cannot be scraped or a red patch and patient will not be able to chew or swallow properly and his mouth opening is restricted and he is not able to stretch his tongue out. These are the warning signs of cancer. So how do dentists play a role in oral cancer? Dentists have been trained to detect oral cancer because oral cancer is seen by the naked eye and the dentists are trained to recognize this. Sometimes in mass screening camps, they are trained to do a smear which confirms the diagnosis. So how how do these dentists treat this oral cancer? A specialist called oral oncologist or oral and maxillofacial surgeon plays a role in treating this cancer. It can be cured by surgery or radiotherapy. Early lesions are completely cured by surgery by removing that part of the oral cavity along with the ulcer with a preferably one centimeter margin and also sometimes they do a surgery called neck dissection. So the five year survival is very high after early lesions are treated. Though patients are coming to the dentist or specialist in the advanced stage of the disease because of the lack of awareness. So how do we prevent this cancer? We can prevent this cancer by two modes that is primary prevention and secondary prevention. By primary prevention we mean that before the cancer has established it is 
helping the patient to be away from the addictive substance like tobacco so creating an awareness about the harmful effect of tobacco is one thing and eradicating or ban on tobacco products this is very important secondary prevention consists of early detection of the lesion so when the patient can be educated about self examination of the mouth we ask the patient to stand in front of the mirror and completely open his mouth and look for an enemy in the mouth in the form of the above signs which i told you like a ulcer or white patch or a red patch or sudden pain or bleeding in the gums or mobility of the teeth so number 1 is self examination number 2 is going to a dentist regularly regular checkup is a must and so also we dentists and specialists go for mass screening camps in the rural areas and we try to catch them early so the message is cancer is curable if detected early oral cancer is a curable cancer and a preventable disease because the cause is known other cancers we do not know the cause or some extra causes will be there but here the cause is very well established and refraining from life threatening habits like tobacco and alcohol is very important diet also plays a very important role in preventing oral cancer we usually advocate the use of fresh fruits and vegetables in in wholesome quantity every day raw fruits like papaya and carrots and oranges are very good to prevent and tomatoes as they contain carotenoids and lycopene these are very easily available and very good for oral health and it also improves the condition of the teeth and gums so avoiding the use of any habit forming substances like alcohol and tobacco is very important visiting a dentist or a dental college regularly once in 6 months to get a regular check up of the teeth as well as the soft tissues of the mouth especially when a person is an addicted to tobacco or alcohol is very important cancer is curable if detected early cancer is not a killer disease anymore with the advent of technology nowadays cancer is completely curable so always seek the help of a dentist or a oral and maxillofacial surgeon when in trouble meditate and do exercise and in addition i always advise proper diet and refraining from tobacco is very important for a healthy lifestyle and a healthy mouth thank you